So if you're taking AP Calculus next school year, you want to make sure you know how to do these types of derivatives the easy way. There's one way to do this derivative and you can simply isolate y by itself and then maybe use some of your rules or use the definition of a derivative. However, there's another way to approach this using implicit differentiation. So we're going to take the derivative of these things individually, but you're not going to isolate x's and y's. You're going to say that the derivative of 5y squared is simply going to be 10y. And then we're going to write a dy dx because that's what we're solving for when we take the derivative of y with respect to x. Derivative of 5 is simply going to be 0, so we're going to put 0. And then the derivative of x squared is going to be 2x. And then this is where we're going to put a dx dx. Why are we writing dx dx? Because we just took the derivative of the variable x with respect to x. The next step is simply for us to get all of our y's and x's on one side. And so happened in this problem, they're already there. And now we're going to simply go ahead and simplify what we have. And lastly, isolate for our dy dx. So we know dx over dx cancels because anything over the same thing is going to be 1. So we're simply going to solve for dy dx. So we end up getting dy over dx. We're going to divide by 10y, 2x. So we get 2x over 10y. We can simplify. And now we see this is the steps for solving an implicit differentiation. We didn't have to isolate y by itself. And this is by far the simplest way to approach this type of problem. If you like AP Calculus content like this and you're taking AP Calculus next semester, then DM me the word bootcamp and I'll send over details on how you can get a head start in the first three units of AP Calculus this summer.